Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes so just in case you fall asleep because it's a sleep session it might be sleepy might make you sleepy-ish so tonight tonight this morning tonight I don't know what time it is what is it it's one minute to one in the morning on today which is uh, Wednesday the 10th of Jolly I think 2019 and I went to the garage to get myself four cans of Coke. And I went there, I took Andre with me. I was a little bit concerned that the the bag that Andre's got is a little bit no good a little bit rubbishy in a sense of uh I'm sorry, I shouldn't watch television when I do these. I do, I'm, I've got the television. The reason I'm not watching television because I'm not concentrating on what I'm saying, although I'm not really concentrating on what I'm saying. Um, but I. I can't turn the telly off because it starts making clicking sounds. So I try and kind of leave it on mute. Therefore I don't get any, you know, less background sound. But usually once I start making a recording, Andre pops up for some reason. It's like an unwelcome woody on a bus and so oh but there's a, a film called fight it's a tv show called fight camera action that's just people that have filmed uh like stuff that's happened and it was this just that's what i laughed because there was this video and it showed a bloke standing on a train there's a lady in front of him and he basically it's like you could kind of guess straight away what he was going to do and his hand went forward and his hand went into her handbag so he was trying to pickpocket her and she looked around and uh, I don't know what she said to him because the there's no sound um, but she clearly had a go at him but then you could see that he started shouting at her like he was having a go at her for catching him trying to steal her stuff and he pushed her or whatever and then she did some kung fu on him and chucked him all over the place so it was uh Didn't describe it very well, but it's okay. So, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. 
went to the garage. So his bag, I need to buy him a new bag because he's worn the one out that I've got for him. He sleeps in it and it's fine for that and I'll I'll leave it here for him to sleep in. And then I need to get another one to take him out in. Because the zip's broke and it's quite difficult. Sometimes it gets jammed because it's just worn out. But luckily, I managed to close it and open it. So I thought, oh, I'll be all right. So I walk in to the garage, or he walks with me to the garage. I get there, no Coke. They had every single version of Coke except just standard Coke. There was Coke Zero, which is seriously disgusting. They got Diet Coke, which I don't any I don't eat anything with the word diet in it. Um not that you know, drinking Coke would be eating, but you you know maybe I do eat it. Maybe I do, maybe I put it into a tub and just leave it in the garden till it turns into some kind of squashy, mouldy um foam and I eat that. You don't know. You don't know me. (laughs) But I don't. And they had cherry coke, which I didn't realise they even made anymore. And what other ones? Um, I'm sure there was another one. But the cherry coke looks exactly the same as ordinary coke the label everything it's just one says original and one says cherry so i've actually bought a bottle of cherry coke in the past from another shop this was when i was in town got off the bus turned right and yeah the shop was on the left and i bought and it i just bought it and i realized it was cherry now, I'm not prejudiced against cherries. Don't get me wrong. Some of my best friends are cherries. But I just... I just... It's not right. But I like cherry yogurts. I like strawberry yogurts. I like peach yogurts. But I don't want peach Coke or strawberry Coke. I just like Coke. An ordinary... Coca-Cola original recipe or whatever original flavour it's not the original recipe otherwise I'd really like it and uh, but you know it's kind of as far as I'm aware it hasn't really changed since I was a kid and I've always liked Coke I drink a bit more now than I ever used to that's a recent thing. I never used to drink a lot of Coke. It used to be more of a little treat, you know. So I went into the shop. I went into the garage. And I said, have you not got any Coke? And they didn't even have the big bowls. Didn't have any cans, so they normally send cans of four, and it varies from like two pound, two pound fifty to three pound seventy. You know, it's just they've just changed the prices. Um, they didn't have any then. They didn't have a big bottle of Coke, and then they didn't have any of the smaller bowls. And then I thought, you know what? I just wanted something a bit sweet. Something just a bit, mmm, you know, yummy, yum, 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 yum. I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll get myself a Mars drink. Did they have them? Did they? No, they didn't. They didn't have them. I was like, what? 
and the lady that was working there, she's really lovely and very friendly, she said, well, apparently, you know, they're getting a delivery tomorrow. I said, that doesn't help me. She said, oh, yeah, the the last few days we had the biggest, sold the most amount of drinks we've ever sold ever. And I said, well, that's, again, that's lovely, but it doesn't help me. You know, it's, it's you know, it's nice to hear these things and... I wish your boss all the happiness that he can experience and I hope that he's celebrating but he doesn't give me my coax and I didn't know what to do I thought if I got to walk all the way up to the shops which is I don't know three miles or something I couldn't be bothered So what I did is, is it three miles? I might be exaggerating, but that's a hundred miles. It takes 17 days to get there. So I thought, meh. So I did something that I haven't done for a long, 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 long time. Nothing weird, don't worry. I, uh, I was going to say, so I haven't done for a long time. I held hands with a lady. That hasn't happened for a long time. No, I haven't. um, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some drinks. You know, some alcohol. So I did. I bought four cans of Foster. Is it Foster or Foster's? Foster's. Lager. And I haven't bought lager for myself for probably over a year probably more more than a year perhaps a year and a half two years even I don't know I just don't drink alcohol anymore I don't really like it and so far I bought these at yeah I must have gone there about nine o'clock and it's now, what, one o'clock. So what's that? 10, 11, 12, one. Four hours. And I'm about a quarter of the way through the second can. And even when I say that, the first can wasn't even empty. There's still a little bit, but it was so warm that I decided to uh, get myself another tinny. From the fridge, because it was killed, and that's what I did. And I don't think it's really having any kind of a major effects, you know. I think I'd still prefer just to have a can of Coke. Although I'm probably a bit more tired than I usually am. So maybe, maybe tomorrow I'll treat myself to some cans of Coke. This is a little treat. Is it a treat when you do something that you do all the time? I don't know. It's quite weird watching television when the volume is down. Let's have a look, see what's on. I'll tell you what a good channel to watch without the volume. Okay, let's just go back through the channels and see. So BBC One, there's the news. Uh, So there's no point in watching that. BBC Two, uh, who should get to stay in the UK? Okay. Following the story of Dua or Doa, 
an Egyptian citizen who, upon arrival in Manchester with her husband, discovered she had the wrong visa and was detained. Okay, next one, ITV, ITV, Cycling Tour de France. Um, highlights. So here we go, I'll give you the highlights, I'll tell you what's happening. There's people on bicycles and they're cycling. They're still cycling. There's quite a few bikes. And they're still cycling. Some of them are at the front. And the ones at the back don't really look like they're putting much effort in. They're two point oh they're still cycling. Now they've gone under a bypass, uh, like a bridge. So you didn't get to see them for a while. So I was wondering if they were okay, what they were doing. Maybe they'd stopped for a a coffee and a, a donut, but no. Yeah, they're still still cycling. So there's two point one kilometers left. And they're going past some trees. And there's a few people on a roundabout watching. They look like they might be clapping, but I can't see their hands because it's like an aerial view. Oh, now there's a close-up view. And there's a child with a spotted hat. And it looks like the aerial view would possibly be the... Because there's a motorbike ahead of them probably with a camera but some of them might have cameras on the back of their helmets which is filming each other maybe and they're looking around like one of them's farted like who is it was it you and that wasn't me was it you no and they're still still peddling And the man with a green helmet is it? Well, I don't know if it's a man or woman is in in the front. And he's he's really bent over, like maybe osteoporosis or something. I don't know. Oh, there's one that's really he's really really pedaling hard, but he's still only fifth. But he's giving it all. I think he should get a medal for that. He's really putting a lot of energy in. And now they look like they're actually touching each other's bums with their helmets. They're really close, really like, very close to each other. And then there's the cyclists at the back as they all pull into the they kind of get to the, the ending line. There's a cyclist at the back which just... It's as if they didn't really care. But the one that just won, he's, I think he's, he's got someone there who's massaging his back and he's, are you okay? And it's like, well... He bought it on himself, didn't he? He wouldn't be so out of breath if he just stayed at home watching it on telly. I wonder what they do when they need a toilet. I 
I always thought it'd be really funny because you know when the one that gets through the end they win they always put their hands up I just thought it'd be funny if they like fell off their bike because he oh it's the man and got blue blue top and he's he's put his hands out and it looked like his hands just missed the side the rider next to him he's had another another Cyclist just gave him a hug. Oh, slow motion. That's a good thing about cyclists because we don't really need slow motion for a cyclist here. Like, they're not going that fast. Then you know you've got to show it back. It just looks just a little bit slower than before. Ilya Viviani was the one. Oh, just oh, okay. Egan Bernal, five hours and nine minutes and twenty seconds. Geraint Thomas was the seventh overall. So he's talking now. He's uh Geraint. Is that a French name? Because I know it's in France, but you don't have to be French to compete, I don't think. I think it's amazing really because cycling is really just for, for little kids isn't it before they can afford to you know legally drive a car these adults adults riding bikes wow I wonder if at the weekend he played tiddlywinks maybe play with the action man some Lego and stuff you know other stuff that kids do I don't, I don't know him but he looks like he has tantrums I can imagine him in a shopping centre or in a supermarket just laying on the floor and you know, punching the ground and screaming because he's not allowed to have the cereal with chocolate bits in. There's someone all in yellow, but it's too much yellow. Now, I'm not prejudiced against yellow. <laughs> but... It's too, sometimes you can have too much and just then it was he had a yellow top on and the background that he was standing in front of was all yellow and the ladies were wearing yellow he had a yellow hat and now he's got a blue hat on so I'm thinking I might have made that bit up but he's got yellow goggles on But there's a green microphone that he's talking to, which kind of fits together with the yellow top. Mind you, to think about it, I mean, I know cycling, I mean, it's, it's great for some, I know some people love it, I'm just joking about it being for children, but it really is. And um, <laughs> I... Ah... Oh. It's interesting, how often do you see an overweight person riding a bike? They're usually pretty slim, aren't they? So maybe I'll get a bike so I can 
maybe, you know, get a bit slimmer. The problem is, I used to have a bike. And I've had a few over the years. I've been had them when I was a kid. Because that's the time to have them, isn't it? Because bikes are for children. But I, I did get a bike as an adult. I was about 35 35, 36 something like that, I don't know, 35 and I used to cycle to work but I sweated so much seriously I'd I'd go into the toilet so before starting work I'd, go, I'd be so sweaty I'd go into the toilet and I'd have to actually empty my underpants because there's so much sweat and sometimes it just to try and get in but it's like it just drop on the floor it looked like I'd just dro- broken my waters and I was about to give birth it was very uncomfortable because well, it was a bit embarrassing even in the winter it's embarrassing because in the summer it's like where everything dries out but in the winter you know I suppose at least you've got the, the radiators to dry stuff on but my manager wasn't happy having it at work Jason can you take your underpants off the radiators please why oh, yet to read it on the tannoy system I don't know Jason please just remove your underpants from the radiator and please empty your desk I used to use my dad's bike when I was 17 I had a job in a co-op bank no not bank co-op where did I get that from I could ever get a job in a bank I'm a bank robber I wouldn't work I'm working a bank and ah, uh, oh, oh, this is something good for you. I don't normally do movie reviews, but I'm going to do a movie review for you. And the the, the film is called Widows, Widows, W I D O W S. And it's a really feel good movie. And it started off basically these. And criminals who just robbed a bank and I imagine terrorised a load of people with guns and stuff well they get chased by the police and eventually they all get killed by the police and that was within the first like probably 10 minutes and I turned it off I thought that it can't get any better than that a bunch of criminals being killed brilliant and I was like wow that's a really I felt really good that was like a really feel good movie I know that's not really what the movie's about that's just the beginning but I didn't need to see anymore that it was just wonderful I thought right a bunch of violent criminals killed by the police yay and that's like wonderful lovely yeah so I was very pleased with that be watching a TV show called Dead to Me uh, on Netflix. It's really good. I'd check it out if I were you. It's a very good, very, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. good. And uh, what else? Ooh. I wonder if that is boxing it on. It's not on this weekend, is it? Oh, 20th of July. It's like just money. Everyone, it's like, I love boxing, but it's just expensive. Usually it's like 16 to, between 16 and 20 pound to watch three hours of boxing. Pretty much an hour after it's been on telly, you can watch it on YouTube. 
damn. So I went to the garage. I got the beers. And on the way back, I because Andre had been in his bag, so I left him in his bag, which reminds me I'm going to have to start do something about that bag probably. Uh, sort it out, but he. He started squealing as I went to get him out of the bag and he had his nail like caught up in the material of inside the bag but it was caught properly you know really like he couldn't get out and he was struggling to get away and the more he struggled the more it I think it was causing him pain but at the same time I was holding him still so that he didn't do it so I could try and find a way of like releasing him but he was biting me <laughs> not hard but he was like getting really frustrated and in the end I was it was just dark outside so I was I put my glasses on the pavement and yeah, I put my bag of shopping on the pavement and then I ran over the road with him and the bag underneath a street light so I could see better and I needed my glasses off because I can't see close up with these glasses on and then eventually I managed to get his now out of the you know, from being tangled. Did he say thank you? No. Didn't care. I was like, it's done now, let's, let's move on. I don't know why I bother sometimes. But, uh, so I got him home and I thought, because he's already caught his nail in someone else's trousers earlier in their uh, I don't know what it was wearing or whatever material it was but he's now got caught in there so he's you know clearly needs to have his nails cut so that's what I did got him back here cut his nails he was wiggling all over the place like I was trying to go straight him or something you know it's like stop I'm just cutting your nails it's your fingernails you have to have them cut once they're cut you're fine for another week or so and you haven't got to worry about it and you won't get caught in anything and he said yeah I know I know but you know it just doesn't it just feels right to to wiggle I said why he said because I'm a ferret and I'm supposed to wiggle okay fair enough and I did that and I got it done and uh, god that was a boring story even for me that was boring um, let's see what else is on telly. The Silk Road. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to watch that. Zing Zong Bing Bong. <sighs> so I'm just down and look down. Things I don't want to see anything that I want to watch because then I can't watch it, can I? If I'm doing this, CBBT, CBBT News. I wonder what that is. I've never looked at these before. Number six seventy-two, Babe Nation. Oh my goodness! I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't describe it, but that's that's not right. This is this is um. All I, I don't know. All I can say is 
very unattractive <laughs> naked person <laughs> sitting on a I don't know what it is they're sitting on and leaning against us it's leaning against a set of drawers and there's a camera aimed right oh wow it says no cue not surprised call now two pound per minute or mobiles two pound per minute plus two pound I guess that's is that connection charge or for UK credit card so you can call up and I suppose be on there as long as you want and just pay and just call on a normal phone I'm guessing of course I wouldn't know I wonder how much it costs for 10 minutes uh, yeah I think if I was Yeah, I don't, I don't didn't know this was on. This is Adult Smile TV. Wow, this is Adult Smile Smile TV three. What else on there? Oh my goodness, there's another one. What? Um. Um, um uh, oh yeah I don't, I don't know it's, yeah this is Kiki and Anna live wow this is just on normal television babe call this one this one's called oh Taylor is live and available for you She's filthy and ready for your... Oh. Wow, I had no idea this kind of stuff was on television. quite like her <laughs> this is terrible isn't it no I don't I don't like this kind of stuff I think it's it's uh, inappropriate very very inappropriate but I think I'm going to have to make a complaint a written complaint to the TV authorities but I think it's only courteous for me to be very informed on what I'm complaining about so I think I'm going to have to watch for a little bit longer just so that I can give uh, um, a real a, dis you know, a description of, of the content that I'm angry about because you know this this is not why I expect this is not what I expect when I'm going through my TV channels. Um, yeah, I went to the garage earlier. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'll go to the next one. Six, seven, four. Hopefully, there'll be nothing on there. Oh, there's nothing on there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, live shows, instant access. Only £6. BSX brings you the hottest action each and every night. There's no setup fee, no subscription charges, and no hidden costs. No credit card required. 
Well, how do you pay for it then? Well, is it Bitcoin? I mean, what? What? How? So six seven five. This is the next channel. Invalid service. Invalid service. Invalid. Something like that. Now this is expanded TV. Oh, literally nothing's coming up for this. Huh. So let's see what's on. There's there's quite a few channels to choose from. What's this? Atlantic Rim. Oh no, it's on the it's on the horror channel. That'll be different from what I was thinking. Okay, so um, Spike QVC Beauty. QVC style. So I'm thinking QV. Oh, that's not coming up. QVC beauty. Oh, that is good, 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 good. I love this. Excuse my chair. Oh, so there's this uh, horsey, not horsey person. Is this? It's a lady that she's um, she's demonstrating just poured something on her hand it's healthy hair five piece collection so why is she putting on her hand then maybe she got hairy hands maybe I don't know maybe she's a werewolf See, she's talking, but she's only kind of talking out of one side of her mouth. From the looks of it. Oh, this is Liz Earl. Liz Earl, home and away. Home and away, healthy hair. So I wonder if home and away, I wonder if she's from the TV soap, home and away. Might be, I don't know. So I find the, yeah, I'm not, I don't find this particularly exciting because it's perfume. And I like the ones where you get to see them uh, doing demonstrations of new stuff. Uh, you Like, oh, is it on there? You want to demonstrate a new frying pan or a new vacuum cleaner that picks up everything that you could ever want, including coal from the 30s. QVC. This will be good. QVC. So this is Coco Bianco printed jumpsuit. Oh, this is boring. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's, there's people modelling it. This is this this is okay, I don't mind that. It's uh it's kind of very very thin material but looks like perfect for being on a beach. Whew. Um It's getting hot in here. It's very um um Loose, kind of. I imagine I'd quite like wearing something like that. Very, very flim, not flimsy. It's, it's not flimsy at all. It's very loose. And what's weird though is because even the two ladies that are demonstrating it are also wearing these weird baggy trousers that are probably. Coco Cabana as well and they look like they've they look like they kind of got to work 
and didn't have anything to wear so they went to the lost property department and they said oh here's some stuff you can wear like being at school you know when you've got no, no shorts or anything for gym and they say oh wear these oh thanks you end up walking around with a little skirt for an hour and a half the worst thing is no one even notices Oh, Natalie from Colchester, Matthew from Newtons, Dimitri from Kingston upon Thames, Alicia from Nottingham. They're just given a bunch of names, I guess, people that have bought them. I always think, I feel a little bit sorry for some of the models because they're just standing there. Are putting on a fake smile and it must be a bit boring just I don't know just standing there like twirling around occasionally especially twirling around it must be disappointing if you do that and you don't turn into Wonder Woman trust me I know that's why I don't twirl around anymore She's got two bangles on, but one stuck right up her arm, like it's it's caught on something. Maybe a mole. And the other one's <laughs> the, the other one's just on her hand, near her hand. I still like the bangles. They the ones that did walk like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. Ooh, ooh. I quite like it. This this top that she's wearing is like an all thing, you know, it's top and bottom. And I just realised it's not a dress, it's just it's like the trousers, but it looks like a dress. It's like different coloured leaves, you know, like a like an erotic forest. Those leaves, and almost kind of a bit Japanesey, a bit kind of you know the, the things that I don't know if they still wear them, that but like the traditional Japanese dress that the ladies used to wear and I think still some do or some still do depending on which way you like to to word it it's those kind of colours those kind of patterns it's, it's it almost looks like the one on the right is her is is black and white and the other one, same size, same kind of baggy trousers, but they're all they're all different colours. So it looks like someone's just coloured them in with some felt tip pens or maybe crayons. And now another lady's come on, another model, and she's got a bright yellow top. It's very bright. I mean, really, really, like sunshine bright. It's beautiful. It's lovely colour. I like yellow. Um, and there's these patterns like flowers and stuff. You know, I don't think it's fair that men don't. I know it's, there's no rules, but. I'd like to wear flowery stuff. I'd like to wear bright, bright tops and, you know, orange and stuff, yellow and flowers and stuff like that. I did go through a phase. Went through a phase in 2004 and 2005. 
and 2006. Yeah, I went through a phase when I was kind of just buying what I wanted to buy, clothes-wise. And in 2006, in 2005, I was wearing quite a lot of pink. I thought, you know what? I'm going to start wearing pink. That's what I did. So I went to River Island, I think I did, or Gap, one of them. And someone told me that Gap means gay and proud. It's just a gay shop, but it's like, I don't know if that's true, whether it's, it's supposed to be, if that's what Gap stands for. But I was very happy with my purchases. And I had this pink top on and I think felt felt trousers a nice nice leather leather hat and uh, studded studded jeans so I used to have some leather trousers when I was younger I mean proper tight leather trousers that shouldn't really be worn I think they're kind of I think there's a there's a point when it just becomes just there's not many people could pull it off I mean literally they, you can't get them off and I think leather trousers need to really just come with a zip all the way down yeah, it should be like a zip down each side of the legs. So you could just get in them and do the leg up. Because when I was younger, even as an adult, I had a, a nice bum. It's uh, Sometimes it's nice, you know, it's like, oh, it's nice you've got a nice bum. But if that's the only thing people ever say... It's like, well, you know, I've got a face as well, you know. I've got hands. What's wrong with fingers? Look at my fingers, and my fingers are lovely. Yeah, but that bum's so peachy. Like, yeah, just... You know, I'm not a piece of meat. I'm not a toy. You know, can I just pay for my groceries, please? A peachy bum. Oh. Wow. Now there's... See, this is what I like. Now there's a model there. And she looks... Oh, no. Oh, she's gone. But she was... The other model that was just there. Because every model that's been on this so far is really, really slim. Including all the ones that are coming on now. But there's one on there just now that wasn't slim. And she's the only one that didn't look like she was faking a smile. But she's just happy to have have some work. I don't know, but she oh she's back again. She's lovely. I like her. And if they fit her as well, because they're not baggy on her. <laughs> on the slim ones, the trousers were baggy on her. They they look like trousers. Now there's one there, she's got a t-shirt on. She said, look at me. She looked like she didn't have any legs. Looked like she had like, oh. Now we've got our, and one model, another model's walking on. And two mo But she looked really a bit confused about whether not to come on or not. Because there's already one on there. She's just got a natural way about her. I like her. I know they're not selling the, the females, you know, because that would be slavery and that's frowned upon these days. But oh, it's really colourful, the top. That's what I want. I really. If I met her, I would say, can I please, 
I please borrow your top? That's what I'd say to her. Because I'd really like to wear it because it's lice. The thing is, she's a voluptuous lady, but the fact is the top probably wouldn't even fit me. I'd probably be a lot bigger than she is. She's not She's not big, but she's... Um, she's not... It's like, I think sometimes like an average sized woman just looks bigger than uh, when they're next to someone that's really, really skinny. And I don't think it matters if you're skinny or not. Or bigger or smaller, it's, you know. I don't know why I'm just talking about it. I don't care. It makes no difference to me. I just like looking at her. I think it's... She's got nice arms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm an arm... I'm an arm man, me. Love arms. Oh, arms. You know, I'm amazed at how many people like feet. It's just like... I went on to this... Uh, I shouldn't tell you really. I went on to this website and it was like a video camera website thing. And I just came, just came over it by accident. And, uh, you know, again, I was shocked and I had to complain, so I had to watch it for a few hours. And there's this lady and she was doing, you, you wouldn't, I can't even, I would never describe, I couldn't describe it without having to put adult rating on this. And she was doing every single thing she could think possible to herself. And someone posted a comment. Right, they posted a comment. There's lots of people posting comments. But someone posted a comment and said, Can we please see your feet? <laughs> it's just like what I mean I don't think she could it's, seeing what was happening because I was shocked, you know, I was I was making notes and you know, if you know who is there some kind of ombudsman I can send this to, this complaint to, because I don't expect to see this kind of stuff when I'm searching for um, double glazing or whatever it was I was looking for online, double la double glazing windows, and uh, I was like, oh, I can't believe this is this wrong. So yeah, and but it's like. Come and see your toes. I was like, what? Hasn't this lady done enough for you? But yeah, I don't, don't, not really into that. Oh, it's the, another fake smiley one. She looks like she's imagining herself skiing. She's got that look and she's looking. Ah. Uh. It might be a case of she's imagining getting home and just getting her shoes off. Just relaxing. It's like, oh, that's nice. And having that kind of smile coming over your face because you're thinking of something nice. Well, now's an advert for, what is it? Sausages and our oh, QVC. Let's share summer. See, I have never ever bought anything from QVC. I don't really. I mean, I do buy stuff from line online, but I only buy stuff from places that I feel I can trust. So you know, like Amazon. It's kind of one of the only places that I buy stuff online. I 
I used to buy stuff on eBay, but I don't know. I'm not so I would never buy clothes on eBay. I would never buy. I mean, some people buy cars on eBay. Why would you buy something that you've not even seen yet? I don't know the answer to that. Do you? No one does. No one does. So I'll just let you know if you're still listening to this. Because I know some people will still be listening to this. Um, I've started a new podcast. Was going to start it today. Might not start it till tomorrow. Because I'm so tired and I don't really have any more food to eat. So if I stay up, I'll just get hungry and then I'll want to eat and there's no food. And all I've got is breakfast cereal. Although that's okay, I suppose. But it's not really, is it? It's not, it's not really okay. Not really. Not really a meal. So instead of going to bed at 7, which I kind of normally do around that time, I might go to bed now. Because I had the council around trimming the hedges. And they were here forever and ever and ever. And then the neighbours started to make more noise to, to kind of compete with it like shouting and had the music blaring up it's like ah oh. so I really didn't get much sleep today which means which means I'm tired but I've got a new podcast which is going to call it's called let me read you to sleep See, it's uh, similar to this one. Let me read you to sleep. And it's basically going to be me just reading books. Each recording will be about an hour. and But there'll be no chatting or anything like that. It will just be straightforward me just reading a book. Because I've tried, I've tried to read a book. I did it the other night. Tried to read one, and I ended up talking about something completely separate. And I think I ended up just reading about one paragraph at the end of the recording. So I'm planning to read, and they're going to be out of date books or out of copyright books, and um, in the public domain. But at the same time, I think I'm in love. Oh, she's. I don't know what it is about her. Maybe it's her hair. She's got nice nails. I'm not really into nails. just looks like she sounds nice you know you see someone you think I bet they've got a soft voice and these books I'm going to read they're going to be and I, I'll put it in the comments section as well of the podcast because I think it's important to know that even though I'm reading the books like as a bedtime read it doesn't mean that the books are boring I may read them in a boring way but the books are classics you know brilliant books so I, I, I put that in the comments of the podcast because I think it's very important to point that out that 
I'm not reading stuff that I think's boring. I'm just reading it because listening to someone reading a book is quite a nice way to fall asleep. I think I've been told. And that's the end of this recording. Hmm. I might turn the volume up on this thing and just listen, just watch it for a minute and see whether or not any of the any of them talk. Well, they do the, the two ladies presenting it talks, but I do wonder what they sound like. I think they might sound. Now this one is it's available in excess to three XL, thirty two pound ninety eight pence. You can pay it in four instalments. Whilst well, today's special value is £32.98. Price after today, £44. Why? Well, we know why, because they're trying to get you to buy it now. But I quite like a pair of them, you know. You could hide all kinds of stuff up them. It almost looked like that woman looks like she's like a really like a tree a tree with a body with these baggy trouser things just blowing or blown against the the trunks of the tree See, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to be on QVC because I could talk about a product for 20 minutes or half an hour. Plus, I'm a salesman, you know, salesperson. Well, I'm a sales, I'm a man, and I? So I'm a salesman. Um, it's not sexist to call myself a man, is it? And I could go on there and now you can buy this and this this pen. It's a great pen. You can write with it. I have fun with that. I could do that. I really could. That would be easy. I'd be probably get quite well paid for it as well. So if you listen to this and you work for QVC or you're one of the I don't know, some kind of television or internet sales thing where you have people present, then get in contact because I could do that. I could. I could have a lot of fun with it and it'd be I could make it enjoyable. Plus I wouldn't I wouldn't be boring. I could be boring. But I could use my I could use my sales skills. I'm quite I can be quite persuasive. Obviously not when I'm doing this stuff because I've got no money. So if I was persuasive I'd be earning money out of this, wouldn't I? But it's quite weird, isn't it? I'm quite I'm quite good I was good at sales. Never much good at juggling though. And uh, skiing, snowboarding, forget it. Snowboarding. It's like you have to purposely lean back as you go down a mountain. Like, lean back and fall over. No, but you won't because you'll be going forward. Now, you lean forward when you do it. No, because then I'll fall over. No, you won't. It's like, oh, I'm confused. I remember when I was skis, snowboarding, 
in Bulgaria and I lost control and <laughs> there was all these kids that were all holding on to this rope and I guess they were school kids on a school holiday or something and I was yelling at them get out of the way get out of the way and I knocked about six or probably about six to ten of them over I couldn't help it I just you know I just lost control of the of the I mean come on if you're gonna basically you're attaching a bit of plastic like a skateboard without wheels I mean, if you got a skateboard, you wouldn't tie your feet into the skateboard because you know that if you fell off, you're going to fall on the floor and hurt yourself. But no, with snowboards, now you've got to have your feet, you know, connected. So to make sure that you fall, you can't just jump off of it. Yeah. We'll never do that again. I think if I, I'd like to go back to Bulgaria, I'd like to go back to that hotel I went to. That's a long time ago. Um, but I definitely wouldn't want to go snowing or snow snowboarding or snow skiing or whatever. No, not my thing. But I quite like to go to the hotel and just sit in there and just hang out and just maybe go and meet the regular people you know the the locals you know get to go around and just see how people are living so that would kind of interest me a bit quite like to go to Poland that would be a very interesting place to go to and Russia Maybe Tenerife. Well, that lady's still there again, but she's moving around a little bit. I think she needs a toilet. She is, she's looking a little bit uncomfortable. She keeps moving her legs. She's definitely holding something in. Yep, she's moved again. I want to go anyway because wow I've gone way over time right I'll speak to you next time thank you for listening and being part of my wonderful world and I will speak to you next time please remember to if you want to you can uh, leave a comment or you can I've got a Facebook page specifically for the Let Me Bore You to Sleep. And what else? Subscribe as well. So whatever podcast or whatever your podcast host or whatever you're listening to this on, remember to subscribe so that you get notified when the new one is available. And also got other podcasts as well. Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. And they're good for sleeping. And um, there's less of me talking silliness on those ones. And also my relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Again, they're in more serious you know, podcasts. The This one's more of a playful one I guess that's one word you can could use maybe maybe baby you take care bye 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 bye